Are you tired of being overcharged and forced into paying a monthly subscription for your Mac and Windows software? Well, if you are, currently we're having a 50% off discount on all the latest Mac and Windows software, such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and much more. Our 50% off discount will be ending soon, so be sure to text us, ready to buy, to 213-640-9738. That's 213-640-9738. We aim to please, so expect 24-7 technical support, the latest premium software, instant software links delivered to your email, and PayPal Buyer's Protection Guarantee. Order yours today to experience all the benefits of Ash Kick and Natural Body Butter. With skin so smooth and soft, you'll thank us for it. Shop Ash Kick and online. That's A S H. K I C K I N dot com. Hey there, family. It's your girl, Chris Kelly, and I'm here to remind you to grab your ticket to the most anticipated event of this year. The FDA Expo is coming to you in Dallas, Texas, Saturday, May 27th, 2023. There will be incredible workshops from wellness, business, legal, survival, and educational forums with prominent and powerful figures of today as your host. But not only will it be empowering and enlightening, it will also be entertaining. With the FBA fashion show showcasing FBA models and designers, listen, I need all my designers and beautiful models to go to fbaexpo.com and submit your application right now. To my Dallas family, I'm looking to showcase local talent and I'm in need of a poet. So please, visit fbaexpo.com for vendor availability and to purchase tickets to the expo. Stay tuned for more information and come out and support Black Asian. Get this knowledge. Come see me, come see us, and come have fun. I'll see you there. going on y'all welcome to another episode of Tariq radio i am your gracious host ladies and gentlemen my name is Tariq nasheed glad to have everybody tuning in ladies and gentlemen glad to have y'all tuning in on the late night creep we're doing it late night style as we do sometimes let everybody know that we're live right now making it do what it do we're gonna chop up some heavy game on tonight's broadcast so look while i'm taking a commercial break let everybody know that we're live retweet this repost it on facebook the whole nine yards don't move a muscle family because we will be right back right here on Tariq radio don't move a muscle this podcast is brought to you by flag and country every day is independence day I rock my flag and country like a young bat. Like Big Daddy Kane, no half step. Pursuing happiness, but my name ain't Will Smith. That 2 8 on my hip, that I won't slip. Cause why I live, no joke, so don't play. Fire ringing out like Independence Day. So get your shirts and your flags for they all gone. And flag AND country.com. It's tax time again, so let the experts at Clark Pro Taxes make filing your taxes easy for you. They can prepare your taxes in person or virtually in all 50 states. Just snap a picture of your documents and leave the rest to them. Let Clark Pro Taxes prepare your personal or your business taxes. So get in touch with them right now at www.clarkprotaxes.com. Their calendars are open right now and they're pre-booking for the new tax season. That's Clark ProTaxes.com and follow them on Facebook at Clark Pro Taxes. 
Have you been feeding your skin quality ingredients? Are you dealing with any type of skin condition such as eczema, hyperpigmentation, body acne, or discoloration? Here at Joy House Essentials, our triple whip shea butter is 100% handmade and whipped to perfection, guaranteeing results you will see and feel instantly. Give your skin the nourishment it deserves and stop using harmful, chemical-based products today. You can find us at www.thejoyhouseshop.net or give us a follow on Instagram at JHE Shop. Joy House Essentials, let's elevate together. What's up, family? You guys need to check out this cookie company out of Houston, Texas called The Cookie Confidant. Man, they sell these beautiful, delicious, huge cookies right out of Houston, Texas, man. And the brother has been in business since 2017. And I've tried these cookies, man. They are bomb, bomb, bomb. Very delicious. My personal favorite are the chocolate chip pecan cookies, man. They are bomb. Y'all need to go to cookieconfidant.com to get these cookies. Black-owned company, man, they got chocolate chip peanut butter cookies, white chocolate cookies with sprinkles, man. So anything you like in a cookie, they got it. So again, go to cookieconfidant.com. That's cookieconfidant.com. Bro, stop playing and start spraying. Leave an op on the ground where you stand. At all costs, yeah, make sure you protect it. Oh, goon juice, the formula been tested. You can defend, defend yourself. yourself. If you find that you need a little help, gotta stay ready. Ain't no love in the streets. Couple spray straight to the face, make them feel weak. Get it at ogoonjuice.com. If they think it, you slipping, then tell them to come get them some. If you packing this, you won't be lacking. But shot to the eye in them problems you have it. Maximum strip hit them haters on ground. So you can feel free when you out in the town. Ogoon juice and don't forget a shirt, man. You gotta stay ready. That evil on lurk. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. You are now tuned into the legendary OG. OG. Tariq Nasheed. I was up on this to all my friends. On Tariq Radio. 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 Where is Tariq getting all this cash? Oh, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. We're back. Glad to have y'all tuning in. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Hope you guys are having a productive week so far. I hope your week is productive, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope it's thorough so far this week. We're going to chop up some real good game on tonight's broadcast. Before we get started, I got to shout out my brother, um, Dr. Boyce Watkins. He's having a, a financial boot camp in Los Angeles this weekend, ladies and gentlemen. My brother Boyce Watkins, let me show his page real quick. Um, this is the Black Wealth Boot Camp. Brother Boyce Watkins doing this out here in LA. If you are in LA, y'all need to get hooked in and clicked in with my brother Boyce because we got to get our financial game together. Um, where can you see this? This is on the blackbusinessschool.com or you can go to drboycewatkins.com. Dr. Boyce has a gazillion links. But yeah, this is, he's going to be in, um, yeah, yeah, the one in Dallas, that's the one that's going to be right before us, but um, he's going to be at a lot of spots, but the one in Los Angeles is going to be this weekend, the 10th through the 11th at the Sheraton right there. So go to um, theblackbusinessschool.com or email them at support theblackbusinessschool.com to check out my brother, Dr. Boyce Watkins and his Black Wealth Boot Camp, ladies and gentlemen. But we're going to chop up game. You know, let me hop on camera for you guys. How about that? How about I just get on camera for y'all? There you go. Let me let y'all see me. Let me see you. You think I got on my museum curator shirt. This is how I be dressing daily at the museum. I try to be semi-professional. You dig? Um, and by the way, the museum is going to, I think we're going to be slightly open next week. Uh, we just got a whole bunch of renovations done. And also, we have an event coming up on the 25th, Saturday the 25th at the Hidden History Museum, ladies and gentlemen. We're having the March Museum Mixer where you guys can come through, network, and mix it up with other like-minded brothers and sisters. A nice, safe space to be casual, cool, relax, look at some of the great artwork that we have and the artifacts and also um, eat good food. We're going to have complimentary food. You're going to have to buy some of the drinks though, but we're going to have complimentary food. A lot of good food we're going to have. We are going to have the, the, the music popping. 
We're also going to have um, comedy acts there. We got a lot of thorough comics that's going to come through, and it's going to be hosted by me and my good brother Dwan B. Dwan B is going to be the host, and he's got a nice assortment of um, brothers and sisters who are thorough comics. So you're gonna, it's going to be a very nice um, event, and. Yes, the March Mixer, the, the Hidden History Museum March Mixer. Yeah, y'all got to come through, and the weather is going to be much better, so the turnout is going to be popping. The tickets will go on sale next, well, tomorrow, actually. The tickets go on sale tomorrow at HiddenHistoryMuseum.com. HiddenHistoryMuseum.com, ladies and gentlemen. They say I got like a, I got like a Foot Locker shirt on. That's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, y'all talking about my, man, look, I'm preppy. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a little preppy. I try to be a professional to a certain degree. I try to be, prof- that's, a, I got a real job shirt. Yeah, I try, I got to look somewhat professional. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the new um, um Blu-ray. Um, You get the new Blu-ray, American Maroon, get it at um American-Maroon.com. American-Maroon.com. That's where you can get the new film, American Maroon, because a lot of people are like, hey, man, we still rock with Blu-ray players. <laughs> we got the Blu-ray. All right? That's the poster right there. You see the poster behind you? People love the movie American Maroon. They were like, y'all went deep, deep. What's up, Charm? Charm is going to be with us at the um, the FBA Expo in May down in Dallas. Dr. Charm is going to be down there with us. Shout out to Dr. Charm. Uh, we got a great lineup for Dallas, by the way. Oh, that's a dad shirt? Yeah, man. Hell, you know, sometimes I got to daddy it up a little bit. You know, you see? Sometimes I got to daddy it up. I got a few daddy shirts. I'll be daddying it up, dude. Come on, man. You dig? But listen. Listen, listen, listen. American Maroon. You can get it right now. American-Maroon.com. But listen. Listen, listen. A lot of stuff we're going to touch on tonight. There's a lot of stuff that we are going to touch on tonight, ladies and gentlemen. How's my volume? Let me double check and make sure. You see? All right, make sure my volume is good. Did y'all say I look like I work at hot dog on a stick? Ain't that a bitch? (laughs) Why I look like I work at hot dog on a stick, nigga? With With the coochie cutter shorts. Remember the hot dog on the stick girls used to wear them tight coochie cutting shorts. And hot dog on a stick was the shit, by the way. All right, well, listen, 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 listen. But listen, we gotta we gotta talk about some real stuff tonight. We gotta talk about some. The volume is good. We gotta talk about some real stuff tonight. Um, and you know I'm gonna do Zoom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a couple of Zoom calls a little bit later in the broadcast. I'm gonna take a couple of a Zoom. But listen, family. A lot of people are talking about the FBA brothers and sisters who got caught slipping down in Mexico. It's another case where some some FBA brothers and sisters go down to Mexico. They got caught slipping. Um, I'm going to play the, the story for those who are unfamiliar. This is a very popular story on social media now. There was um, a, a group of black people who drove in from, um, I think, South Carolina. The, they drove down to Mexico. One of the women was getting a little surgery. I think she was probably getting a tummy tuck or a BBL or something. And they called him slipping. They got hemmed up by one of the cartels. And two of the brothers and sisters got killed. And they're, they're trying to bring their bodies back. Um, the other two, they, they were alive. But one of the brothers got shot in the leg. So let me play the news story on this so that it'll, it'll kind of keep you abreast on what's going on to give you some of the basics. It'll give you a few of the basics. Now, the news media, they keep saying different things. Oh, now, just listen to this. Hold on. Let me let me just play this. Let me get the sound together for you. Hold, Hold on, guys. guys. All right. Let me bust this for you. Hold on. Let me bust it. All right. Go. Oh. Two of them are safely back on U.S. soil. The other two are dead. The victims were found in a rural area east of the northern Mexico border city of Metromoros. 
The other two survivors were returned to the U.S. Tuesday. Mexican officials say one of them was injured. Omar Biafranca is in Brownsville, Texas, with the latest. Two Americans who survived being caught in a shootout and kidnapped by cartel gunmen were taken to a hospital in Brownsville, Texas today. Mexican authorities found Latavia McGee and Eric Williams at a stash house outside the city of Matamoros after gunmen moved them to multiple locations to avoid capture. It was the end of a road trip for cosmetic surgery. McGee, Williams, along with their close friends, Shahid Woodard and Zindel Brown, traveled last week from South Carolina to Matamoros so McGee could have cosmetic surgery. This video shows the moment when they were kidnapped at gunpoint after being caught in a shootout between rival cartel gangs. Here, you see McGee being forced into the back of a pickup truck by armed men, with others who appear hurt, also dragged and loaded onto the truck bed. Woodard and Brown were killed. Traveling abroad for medicine and medical procedures is common. More than a million Americans traveled to Mexico for health tourism last year, spending about $250 million. 38-year-old Williams, a husband and father, was shot in the leg but is expected to survive. We talked to his wife, Michelle, moments ago from North Carolina. All right, okay, all right, so that's enough of that. All right, guys, okay, okay. Let me get back on. Now, somebody said, now, I've been seeing this comment pop up. Well, they were down there trapping. No, they weren't. No, they weren't down there trapping. They weren't. Let's stop that. They were not down there trapping. Stop. They were not. From what I understand, all of these folks, none of them had criminal records. They were kind of squeaky clean. They, they didn't have no criminal record, and they weren't down there trapping. And you don't, you don't, look, 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 listen, listen. If you trapping, you don't leave no paper trail. You don't sign up for no cosmetic surgery because you leave a damn paper trail. You, you understand? Let's stop that because I've seen that comment pop up a lot. When you trapping, you ain't leaving no damn paper trail. You're not leaving all your, your name and social security number and all of this stuff for a damn doctor's office. All right. So they, they were not trapping down there. And there's been a lot of reports, different things being said. Some people said that it could have been, a, it, it was a, mis, a case of mistaken identity. They said that the, the cartel might have thought that they were Haitian drug dealers. That's horse crap. I don't believe that either. I don't believe that either. I don't think it was mistaken identity. You did yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, if you trapping, you ain't got to go into Mexico, nigga. The plug will meet you in Texas. <laughs> you dig? The hell? No, no. You don't. If you trapping, you're not going to cross the border and then you take the risk bringing the shit back. Yeah, the, stop with the drug narrative. No. Your plug takes the risk. He's going to have to cross that border with the damn brick. You don't. Cr Come on, y'all. Y'all just be saying stuff. No. That's not how the game works, you know. You know, your plug is going to meet you in Texas, dude. You're not going to do all that and take all them um, chances to, to bring a brick across the damn border. <laughs> and then you done left your name and address at a doctor's office. Stop it. But listen. The media is kind of downplaying it and they're, they're using the mistaken identity angle. I don't think it was mistaken identity, to be honest. And I'm, I'm going to throw the tinfoil kufi on. Can I throw the tinfoil kufi on? Somebody say they don't look for Yeah, they look foundational. They look foundational. I think they're FBA folks. But let me throw the tinfoil kufi on a little bit. But I think they were, I think they were targeted. I think they were targeted, and hell, family, truth be told, we have to ask questions about the doctor's office down there. Was the doctor office in on it? Were, were they in on it? Because from what I understand, they were on their way to their the, the appointment, and that's when they got hemmed up. Could the doctor have been in on this thing? Let me tell you something. Listen, the word is out that there are a lot of black people who are going down into Mexico and to South America and Central America to get these BBLs. 
black people, sisters are going down there in droves. All right, let's be clear. That's a big business. They know that black people are coming down there to Central America with lots of money, even if it's five or 10 stacks on them. And from what I understand, this sister was getting a tummy tuck or something and it was going to cost five stacks. Listen to me. So five stacks is like whatever to us to a certain degree, but five stacks go a long way down there. You understand? Let's look at this thing from different angles. They look like they might have been just hitting a lick. The word is out that black folks are showing up in large numbers. They got cash on them to pay for these BBLs. They're, going, they're coming in with cash. So when you see a black person, hey, wait a minute. They're coming to get a BBL. You see a sister, uh, uh, some brothers with a sister. Oh, they have some money on them. You understand what I'm saying? And it's a quick lick. And they understand that the government over here is infused with anti-black racism. So they're going to drag their asses to a certain degree in order to find the perpetrators. Just like the sister who got killed by her friends down in Mexico, you, you don't think for a minute they didn't see how the U.S. government dragged ass about that sister being killed down in Mexico. They were like, oh, so if a black person gets off down here, the government and their anti-black racism, which is just like our anti-black racism, they're going to drag ass. So, hey, we can kind of get away with, with targeting them and hitting a lick on them. You understand what I'm saying? I want y'all to look at this stuff. I know tummy tuck BBL or whatever, all right? Well, I'm not, the, the whole tummy tuck versus BBL, that's inconsequential. That's a that's a non sequitur. That's a distinction without a difference. That don't mean anything. Tummy tuck, if that makes you feel better, whatever they're getting. But people go down there. And black people are going down there. Getting these surgeries and they're taking large sums of money with them. And now the word is out. So now the folks out there who's on the, the slick slick are like, hey, these are easy licks right now. It's an easy lick. And let's take it to another level, family. L l we got to understand, black folks get targeted down there. Remember, Malcolm X's grandson got killed in Mexico. Y'all remember? Right? Malcolm X's grandson got killed in Mexico. Do y'all remember that? Around what, 2000, was it 2013 or 2014? They said he got, he was at a bar down there and got into a fight. Somebody tried to make him pay a $1,200 tab, which it sounded like they were trying to rob him. And he got into a fight and they ended up killing him, right? Come on, man, we better understand what this game is out here. See, we got this kumbaya mentality. Yeah, y'all didn't know that. Let me Google some of this stuff for you guys to peep out. Dr. Sebi got killed in Mexico. You dig? Come on. Do y'all remember that? When Dr. Sebi died, he died in custody in Mexico. While y'all sitting up here talking about black and brown <laughs> and you bending over backwards to, to roll the red carpet out for people and you go over there, you, you got DACA programs and you bending over backwards to create programs for people to come over here and eat and then you go over there and damn, you might not make it back. Come on. Let's talk real, man. Oh, you didn't know about Dr. Sabi? Where y'all been, man? Yes, Dr. Sebi was found dead while in custody in Mexico. It, it was Mexico, right? Yeah. It's not no drug deal gone bad. Yeah, look up Malcolm Shabazz. That's the guy, uh, Malcolm X's grandson. Let me look that up real quick because we're going to get deep tonight. There's some deep stuff that we're going to cover if, as far as this. Hold on one second. Let me Google them now. Let me Google that real quick. Yeah, Malcolm Shabazz. Um, da, 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 da. Malcolm Shabazz. Let me show the story. Uh, da, 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 da. Washington Post. Hope I don't get a, an ad pop up. Okay. 
Okay, here it is right here. Oh, don't do not do the ad pop-up. Ah, I knew I was going to do that. Sorry about that, guys. I hate these articles um, where they... Uh, da, 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 where you, they got ads that pop up. Okay, right here. Okay, let me show this real quick. This is... Um, right here. Ah, damn, I hate these ads. These damn pop-ups, man. All right, right here. Malcolm X's grandson killed in Mexico. All right. The activist died after a bar fight over a bill. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. They tried to say that he owed like $1,200 or something. And you're like, hey, man, get the hell out of here. And then they end up killing him. But family, listen. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. I think this was a targeted lick. I think this was a targeted lick. And not only that. Oh, Dr. Sebi died in Honduras. Okay, but didn't they got him in Mexico? I remember it was the Mexican authorities. Hold on, let me let me double check that because I remember it was the Mexican authorities who d- detained Dr. Sebi. Hold on one second. Let me double check that. Hold on one second. Let me double check that real quick, guys. Hold on. Let me double check that. Because from what I understand, it was the authorities in Mexico who got him. Uh, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Hold on. Let me see. I'm looking it up right now. Legacy. Where, da, 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 da. Okay. Where did he do? Where is that? In death controversy. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Where is that? Where is that? I'm looking at that. I could have swore he was down in Mexico. Where the hell is that? I don't know. Well, he he was coming from Mexico or something. I knew there was. I, I remember seeing the Mexican police. Something like that. Okay. He got sick, had pneumonia in a Mexican prison. Right, 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 right. Right. I I remember he was being in a Mexican jail. Okay. Hold on. I could have swore somebody's no no let me double check here. I could have swore he was in a Mexican jail. Okay. Honduras and Mexico to the okay. Okay, some people saying Mex I could have I could have swore it was Mexico. Some people saying, okay, all right. Because now it's all over the place. They say they're all Mexican. Uh, he was released and then, okay, he was released, then sent to the Honduras jail. But he got sick in the Mexican jail. Okay. It's all over. I, I remember seeing the Mexican authorities. Okay. You do remember about, okay. So the point is, but again, with the Malcolm Malcolm X's grandson got, got killed down there. And now this situation here. And it's looking real funny style. And again, I think that they were targeted. Um, Also, what it looks like, and this is another thing that people forget about these cartels in Mexico. People think that these cartels in Mexico are just dealing with the dope game. No, that's not it. That's not all. You know what else these Mexican cartels are into that makes a lot of money? Organ harvesting and organ trafficking. Oh, yes, the tinfoil kufi is on tight. Oh, yes, the tinfoil kufi is on tight. Those cartels are well known for organ harvesting down there. You dig? Big time. And who better to get an organ from from somebody who's already sent some of their medical information to a doctor's office down there. This is what happens. A lot of those doctor's offices, they already get your 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 medical information. You, I want y'all to follow me on this, man. Y- yeah. Yeah, they're big on that down there, man. You think? They're big on that. Let's look, let's look up some of these articles here. I mean, they be um, getting organs from kids out there. So you think they won't get some organs from black folks? Come on, man. Well, let me show y'all some links. They've been doing this for years out there. They're, they're known for doing that stuff out there. Um, hitting folks up and then your organs are missing. The, the, the people who they're sending back, 
I want to know what kind of autopsy they're going to do and what's missing. I want to know what's in the autopsy when they send these people back. You dig? All right, look, Mexican cartel members investigated over organ harvesting claims. They do this stuff, man. We better understand the game. And this is um, um, child organ trafficking ring busted by Mexican police right here. Do though they do that with kids out there? Yeah, this is what it is, man. Man, said cartels, human trafficker right here, says that cartel harvest children organs and stuff drugs in their corpses. Yeah, there's it's some real scandalous stuff going on down there, man. It's some real scandalous stuff going on down there, man. So now let's think about it. Let's put our, our thinking caps on. Let's put our thinking caps on, man. So you got people down there, these cartels, who are probably clicked in with these doctors. You dig? So these doctors might be in on it. These doctors are giving these cartels the the info about these patients who are about to come in and they're like, hey, I got their medical records and they got an old type blood and they got such and such this and they got such and such that. And so instead of just getting that $5,000 that you're going to do the BBL for, you can get another two, $300,000 for the rest of the organs. Do you know how much organs are? Come on, man. Y'all better understand what's going on out here. Or the organs on the black market are a lot of money. So they're like, we hit this lick. Man, we hit this lick. Not only are we going to get that five stacks that they got to do that BBL, we we chop them bodies up, get another two, three hundred thousand. Yeah. We better understand how scandalous some of these these doctors outside the U.S. is, remember, the doctor who killed Michael Jackson. He's not a non-FBA doctor. Ain't he from the Caribbean somewhere? Some of these doctors from these other places, they, they don't operate by the same standards to a certain degree. Yeah, a kidney is like 20K. Yeah? Yeah. And a black body, black organs? You dig? And they always say, remember, the word is that our organs are the best. Our organs are the most highly sought after. The organs of black people. Did y'all know that? Our organs are more sought after. Our organs are considered stronger. Yeah? Yeah, Conrad Murray. Where is he from? He was from the Caribbean somewhere, right? Yeah? Yeah? But listen, another thing, too, we got to understand, man, these people, they understand anti-black racism and they understand the anti-black racism over here. Let's get real deep. Let's get metaphysical to a certain degree. What's the name of the city that that happened in down there in Mexico? What's the name of the city? Type the name of the city, guys. Where the the the, the sister and, and RIP to the the the. FBA family who lost their lives. RIP to them. But I want y'all to, let, let's get deep and I want y'all to understand some things from another perspective. What's the name of that city that this happened in down there in Mexico? What's the name of the city, guys? Y'all know? Y'all know the name of the city? Name that city. What is the name of that city, ladies and gentlemen? I know the name. I just want to see if you guys know the name of the city. Right. The city is called Matamoros. All right. The city that this happened in where they, the cartel killed these brothers and sisters and kidnapped the other ones. It's called Matamoros. Do you know what Matamoros means, ladies and gentlemen? Do you know what Matamoros means. Matamoros means more killer or black killer or more slayer or the killer of Moors or killer of blacks. Matamoros, that's the name of the city. That means more killer. More is black. More and black were interchangeable terms. 
killer of blacks. Oh, yeah. Did y'all know that? Let's get into some etymology here. Metamoros, Spanish term meaning killer of moors. All right. And that was given. Yeah. Yes. Moor killer. And it was named after St. James Metamoros. This was a, a mythological figure in the ninth century in Spain who was known for killing black people. He was killing Moors, St. James Metamoros. This is why history is very important. This is why you better know some damn history. Let's get deep for a minute. This is right here, James Metamoros was giving to the um, James, helping the Christians conquer the Muslim Moors, all right? Now, this is James Metamoros killing a black person. This is the saint right here. This is him killing a Moor, a black person, all right? And there's other dead Moors, dead black people in the background. You understand? So he was known for killing a bunch of black people. James Metamoros, all right? So this city is named for killing black people. These folks went to a city that's really literally named for killing black people, Metamoros. <laughs> it don't get deeper than that, guys. We better watch where we are going. We better know our surroundings and know the history of certain places and the energy that goes into certain places. Yeah? No, more is very, it means the black people. More is a very specific term, all right? You know? That's a very specific term. It means the killer of black people, killer of moors. Moors and blacks were, that, that term was interchangeable to the point where they were saying black or more. They were just running the word together. You know? Come on, man. This, is that the black and brown coalition, guys? You know? Yeah, go go check the movie American Maroon out. We, we talk about the Moors and the conquest of the Moors. We talk about that. That's why history is important to kind of understand certain terms and words. So when you show up somewhere and it says killer of the Moors, I'm like, hey, is this the place that I need to really kick it in? Let me go to the next town. You understand? We better be aware of where we're going and the energy that goes into these places. You dig? We better understand the game here. And we better understand when people are watching the patterns that we engage in because they're looking at us as a quick lick. They're like, hey, we can knock them off. The government ain't gonna be looking for them. Um, and you know, we can get a, a few hundred thousand for these organs and we can get the money that they brought with them and the government ain't even tripping. Because if you were in a town that's named after killing black people, are they really going to put their best foot forward into looking for the people? Now, with this case, it, it got somehow it got caught on film. I, I think the security cameras they did it in broad daylight and it got caught on film. So now it was so brazen, it's getting international coverage. But I want to see what the Biden administration is going to do about this situation. I see the media keeps trying to downplay the narrative, but I'm telling you that I, the, these brothers and sisters were targeted. This wasn't no damn mistaken identity. It wasn't. It was not a mistaken identity situation. Yeah. So let me turn this off. Shout out to people hitting the um, cash app. Shout out to you guys. Um, speaking of names, remember that Gabri Gabrielle Union, what is she, she did some real slick. I know, I, we know that stuff she did with her stepson. But uh, what did she do? She did something. Um, and I, I should have posted it up where she was um, talking about 
that non-binary. Yeah, she was upset with um, certain states for not allowing parents to give children these altering drugs that alter their gender, which I, I, I think is perfectly fine to stop that nonsense. Leave children alone. So she was all up in arms with these legislators stopping them from giving these altering drugs to kids because they shouldn't leave children alone. So she's all up, you know, she's mad about that. Now you're right in Texas, right? I, f- I forgot what state it was in, but they're in one of these states. They were like, yeah, we're not going to let that happen. Some of these right wing um, politicians where some of the, the stuff they get down on, I'm with that. I ain't with none of their racism stuff, but some of this stuff where they're stopping them from targeting children with the nonsense, I'm with that all day. Leave the kids alone. I ain't never co-signing this stuff where they're messing with kids and sexuality. Anything that they're trying to sexualize kids, that ain't cool at all. If a kid grows up and becomes an adult and says, hey, man, I want to take some hormones. I want to get my ass done or what. Let them do that when they get grown. Don't do that to no damn kids. That ain't cool. And again, I stand with Siobhan Funches, whatever her name is. That's um, Dwayne Wade's ex-wife. There was an article where they talked about how she dead named her son. Uh, look at the terms that they use out here. Look at this article right here. And I, I talked about this before, but I didn't really emphasize on this whole term dead name right here. They're talking about her and her um, her children. And they use a very weird term, dead name. All right. And a, a lot of us have never heard that term before. Hold on one second. Hold on. Let me show y'all something real quick. Real quick. Um, where's that one? Okay. Let me show this. Uh, where we at? Where we at? People? All right. So this is her. Siobhan Funches. She was upset with um, Gabrielle Union, saying that Gabrielle Union is a bad influence and she's this woman is fighting to stop them from um, switching her kid up and changing her kid around and this article, and I've seen a couple of articles use this term. They said Siobhan, who dead names her daughter in the filing, claims to have concerns that Dwayne may be pressuring our child to move forward with the name and gender change in order to capitalize on the financial opportunities that he received from companies. All right. And they use the term dead name. Now, some people never heard that term before. What the hell is dead name? Dead name means she called her son a son. The the person she gave birth to and carried for nine months, her son, she called her son a son. They said, well, you dead named him. Now, look at this. This is dead naming. Dead naming is the act of referring to a transgender or non-binary person by the name they use prior to to transitioning, such as their birth name. Dead naming might be an intentional or deliberate or deliberate attempt to deny or mock or invalidate a person's gender identity. Boy, these people are sick. So if you call, you give birth to a damn son and name your son and call your son by the name you gave him and gave birth to him with, They're sitting up here trying to criminalize you. That's a term that's meant to criminalize. Watch the words that they use. Words are very important. Watch the term dead naming. You're going to see a lot of that in the future, guys. I'm telling you. When I hear these new words pop up that's coming from these weird-ass think tanks, I said, "Uh uh-oh, here's another term. Watch these words. Watch the word dead naming. You're going to see a lot of that in the future. I'm telling you, they just make up words, yeah. It's on some I'm white and I say so. They make it up as they go. I'm telling you, they're going to start using that term. So now if if a dude shows up in a dress and you say, hey, dude, what you got going? What you got on? Oh, you just dead named me. That's a crime. I was dead named. Oh, God, I've been dead named. You just violated my civil rights. That's where they're going with this nonsense, guys. That's where they're going with this nonsense. We got to watch out for it, family. Dead naming. 
Watch these folks, man. These people are sick with it, man. And again, the name of the game is to force us to go along with non-procreative sex, which is another form of buck breaking. That's all it is. This is another form of buck breaking, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Let me get some of y'all in the Zoom while I'm up. I like talking to y'all last time. I know it was it was kind of ratchet, but I enjoy talking to some of the people. Let me get y'all the link, guys. Let me get y'all the Zoom link. This is the Zoom link right here, guys. Look in the um look in the um the chat. Let me get a couple of y'all in here. Y'all hop in and say hi real quick. And 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 have your clothes on, all right? Don't don't hop in the Zoom with your draws off or whatever. Let me get a couple of y'all in here to say hi, man. Yeah, having y'all in here, it kind of keeps everything interesting. All right, let me see who we got in here. Y'all, y'all hop on in. Let me see who we got. Y'all start hopping in. Hop on camera. Let me see what's going on with you. Let me see who we're going to have in here. Okay, we got um. Okay, somebody with an Asian name. Let me see who this person is. Let me see who some of these people are. Okay, this dude got some, some Asian names on his thing. Uh, where's this guy? What, let me get this guy. The guy with the Asian name. All right, turn your camera on, bruh, and, and get it popping. Um, all right, where you at, man? Hop on in. Hop on in, bro. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Let me get, um, let me see. Let me get a couple of people in here. Let's get Bohemian Lee. What was Bohemian Lee? All right, y'all turn your camera on or something. Hold on, what y'all doing? Look, I hear somebody, I don't see him. All right. Peace, Tariq, how you doing? What's up, I can't see you, brother. Hop on camera, bro. Hold up. <clears throat> There hey, you Drake, go. How you doing, man? There you go. Let me let me put the camera on here. How you? Let me do this so we can see you. There you go. All right. How you doing, fam? All right. Just giving a shout out from the Bay Area again. Oh, shout out to the town. Shout out to the Bay. What you do up there in the Bay, bro? Yeah. Uh, just, just chilling, man. You know, I think I I think a lot of the shit that uh, a lot of people don't realize about that thing that happened in Mexico is because I, I got a mama that go out to Mexico every year for God knows what. I yeah. don't know, man. But my mom is also biracial. She likes skin. She got the complexion for the connection out in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> hold, 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 she hold. invited me like a couple of. She she invited she's invited me a couple of times and I don't go, even though I speak Spanish fluently. Yeah. Learned in high school, and um, but she just recently, through her through you know her part time uh, wheeling and dealing with uh, travel agencies. She wants me to go with her to Morocco in May and Spain in September. Okay. And being a black man, identifying as a black man with a biracial mother who is aged with silver hair. Oh, yeah. I don't know what to anticipate or expect going out there to those places other than looking like I just carry luggage for her. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Well, what's, what's mom down there doing? Does she have her little Rico Suave down there or something? What's I she doing? Know, man. I mean, you know, my, my pops being from, you know, my pops from, was from Birmingham where you, from like you, mm-hmm. but, uh, you know, in the 70s and 80s in Oakland, you know, some of y'all from the town might know about the House of Grapes yeah. out in Oakland, you know, yeah. you know just running business, uh, restaurant and so forth, so, uh, quote unquote social club in the 80s in Oakland. So I don't know if my mom just trying to like, is reaching that old contacts out there or what, man, but. All right, your mama, all right, your mama out there, you know, making something pop off. So, <laughs> but anyway, uh, oh, sorry about that, bro. But yeah, but thank you for the call, brother. Hey, man, hey, mom got her little Rico Suave out there. She's out there. Your mama out there getting it in, dude. Mama's out there. She's getting her groove back. Huh? My goodness. All right, let me get a couple. Let me get some more folks in here. It's a lot of folks up in here. A lot of folks trying to get in. Where are the ladies at? Let me get some of the ladies in here. Let me talk to some of the women folk. Cause we got the Million Man March in the waiting room. There's a lot of dudes in the waiting room here. Yeah, it's a lot of dudes. Let me get some of the women in here. I like talking to the ladies. All right, let's get this brother here. Hold on one second. Let me get this brother here. 
Turn your microphone on, sir. My brother, turn your microphone on. I can't hear you, sir. I can't hear you. Turn your microphone on. Okay, let me let him get it together. I'll let you get it together, brother. I, I can't hear you, sir. All right. All right. I couldn't hear you, brother. All right, ladies, hop in. Let me get some of the ladies in here. All right. You say somebody said his mom was the plug. Is his mom down there trapping? Shit. <laughs> All right, y'all hop in. Let's get a couple of more calls before we get up out of here. Let me let's 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 get a couple of people to hop in and say hi. It's good to see everybody's face. I like to see people. I like to see the family. I like to see how everybody's doing. And my brother had his FBA flag up. Shout out to that brother had the FBA flag representing. Shout out to my brother. Um all right, let me wait on a couple of more folks. To, ladies, hop in, ladies. I know you got your bonnet on. I know you got your bonnet on. What's up, little Sammy? I see you in there. What's up, Brittany? Look, I know your bonnet is on and your, your bayang is not covering your forehead because a lot of y'all got big foreheads. I understand that. I understand your forehead is big, but you can still talk. You can just pull your bonnet down a little bit so it, uh, you there? Just turn your, pull your bonnet down a little bit. What's up, more melanin? All right, let me see. We got a lot of folks in. Um, by the way, while I'm waiting on some of the ladies to get in, did y'all see, speaking of ladies, did y'all see y'all girl Lizzo? Okay, she was over in Paris. She's doing a tour in Paris. She's performing and she pulled her pants down and started twerking while playing the flute. And I'm like, oh God. Okay, let me let me show you a girl real quick. You just stanking, just stanking it all up. All right. This y'all girl right here. This is your girl. Hold on. This is Lizzo pulling her pants down and shaking that wide flat ass. All right, that's her. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. 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 So she's she's in Paris doing this. Okay. So Lizzo is in Paris doing that. All right. She's in Paris doing this nonsense. All right. And showing her ass, stanking it up. You know, just the symbolism of that is disgusting. And, you know, guess who else was in Paris doing that? Or who, who, who was made to do that? Somebody else was in Paris doing that. Sarah Bartman. Remember Sarah Bartman? Venus Hottentot, which is what they called her. They had her in Paris doing that. They had her, the, the Venus Hottentot. That's Sarah Bartman. So they had her, you know, she was, you know, she was uh, an, an oddity to them. It was a woman with a huge ass that they paraded around Europe, particularly in Paris. They really love that in Paris. They, that, they're they really freaky about that in Paris. So they had that sister parading her around like a circus act in Paris. In fact, I think they stuffed her body and kept her body in Paris, I think. I think they, Venus Hottentot, they stuffed her body and, and kept her body on display in Paris. That's the original Lizzo. So, so Lizzo going over here, being a voluntary Venus Hottentot, shaking that wide flat ass, you know, it, it's it's pretty sad. You, you dig? Because it's it's done to be disgusting. It's not even done sexy. You know, it's not even being done. Like, I, I can give credit to Josephine Baker. Josephine Baker did her thing, and she was very sexy and graceful, even though it was a very erotic and provocative thing that Josephine Baker did in Paris. She was over there, and she made big money in Paris. They love seeing FBA women 
being very sexualized or just black women in general, not just FBA women. But um, Josephine Baker, she changed the game with how she got down. But Lizzo over there yanking your pants down and bending over and just stank shaking. That's that's not twerking. That's stank shaking. It's not sexy. It's not even remotely sexy. I don't need. It's not even meant to be sexy. It's done to be disturbing. It's supposed to look disturbing. It's she's doing it to be disturbing. She's doing it to be a minstrel. You, you, you dig? That's what it is. If that's your get down, I mean, shit. Just own up to that. If we're doing minstrel shows out here, you know, people got to eat, but we, we see it. It is what it is. TR3, you want to hop on? Hop on. Hop on, TR3. There you go. Hold on, let me get her in here, this lovely sister. What's up, TR3? How are you, dear? Oh, turn your microphone on, ma'am. I can't hear you. Wait, wait, turn your microphone on. Ask to unmute. Okay. There you go. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. There you go. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. What city you in, dear? Uh, Phoenix. Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix is very nice. Phoenix is yeah. a very nice. How long you been in Phoenix? Nice. Um, um, from here, born and raised. Oh, okay. Yeah. I rarely see yeah. black people born and raised in Phoenix. Yeah, you like being from here is like you now these days you hardly like know anybody from here. Like it's a lot of people. Now, yeah. now, now, where's your family from originally? What part of the South? Uh, Mississippi, mm -hmm. Alabama. Okay, cool. What kind of what you do out there, dear? What do you do? Um, I work from home right now and then part time at dispensary. Okay, so yeah. you so you uh, got an OnlyFans and you smoke a little weed on the side. There you go. Um, Why you got OnlyFans, <laughs> me? I don't have OnlyFans. Because when, when folks say they work at home, usually it got something to do with um, cracking that ass open for a couple of picks. But nah, uh -huh. just work in school. Just uh -huh. work in school. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, now, where are your kids? How many kids you got? I don't have any kids. Oh, cool. well, there you go. See? There you go. Now, how old are you? How old are you, dear? I am 30. Okay, 30 with no kids. That's that's okay. That's impressive. Now, uh, where's your significant other? Um, <laughs> kind of heartbroken right now, unfortunately. Uh-oh, y'all broke up? What happened? Yeah, I can't get into all that, all but right. it was good talking to you. Hold on. I mean, uh, I've been listening to you on... Hold on, no, 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 no. We're not changing the damn... We're not changing the subject, dear. No, 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 no. Because you're interesting now. Hold on, no, no, no. We're not going to change the subject. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. What, did you and your dude break up? Yes, I just said that. No, you didn't. You just said you're heartbroken. That mean that could have mean a whole bunch of things. Uh, what? How did y'all break up? How many, how many chicks he get caught with? He got caught with his baby mama. Okay, so that's enough for me. That's enough. That's enough. Um, is this this yeah. a this isn't a white man? Is it? Is it a brother or a white man? I, you know, I gotta, you know, I love my brothers. What can I say? Uh, but what was this guy? He was black. Okay, just double checking. You out there in Arizona? Y'all have Mexican baby daddies? You be having a little Tito Puente popping? So. Man, they do that in uh, LA too. Yeah, I know that. I know, I know, I know, I know. But uh, it, okay, yeah. okay. So he was out here creeping with the baby mom, and you're like, no, yeah. I'm, okay. Well, you're gonna be all right. Don't don't be too heartbroken. There's a lot of other dudes out here. You you seem like you got it together. You um, you know, you seem like you got it together. Um, Thanks. how long were you dating, dude? <clears throat> About three months. Oh, that ain't shit. Lord, this nigga. <laughs> you heartbroken over that raggedy shit? Come on. <laughs> Girl, please. Him. Oh, Lord. Man, you just a, <laughs> the nigga you just met. All right, come on, man. You can get over that, dude. You're going to be all right. You're going to yeah, be fine. Yeah. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. <laughs> um, um, How tall are you? Five, five. Okay, we're going to get some. Brown eye. There you go. Uh, 
We're going to get some of the Arizona brothers to holler at you and reach out. Some of my brothers here. What's your Instagram, dear? You know what? I'm good right now. I get it. Know, I get it. Yet. But you you need a friend. You need some of these brothers to be friends with you. You know, just, just to holler at you to make sure you're good. What's your Instagram? I don't have one, actually. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty much a square. Like, you, you don't see, like, you don't hear that a lot. But no, I'm pretty much a square. I just work and go to school. Ain't nothing wrong with being a square. Get to where I'm going. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, you got some kind of social media. Where's your social media, dear? You got something. I don't have one, really, to be honest, like that. Like, I only uh, do stuff like that for work. Oh. Like, when I go to, like, the industry events and stuff, they want you to follow them and stuff like that. But I really don't have, like, a social media, like, footprint like that. Okay. Okay, well, sound like you're in there trapping a little bit. You're trying to lay low. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. Yeah, you're so funny. Lord. Okay, dear. Anyway, you be good. And thank you so much for calling in, beloved. It was uh, good talking to you. You too. Yeah. All right. All right. She's a sweet girl. She's a sweetheart. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. Sound like she's doing some low key trapping her damn self. Yeah. And she fell in love with the plug. You know. Square is cool. Ain't nothing wrong with being square. No, her, no, no, no. Her dude ain't in the room. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with being a square. So she seems crazy. Uh, yeah, she's laying low. So that, that woman might be in the game. No, that woman might be into some street life. You know. Them square ones be the main ones. Don't let nobody fool you with that square talk. They be into shit. Yeah, but anyway, man, let me get up out of here. Let me get up out of here, ladies, because we got a lot of folks in here. Um, listen, tomorrow the tickets go on sale for the Hidden History Museum March Museum Mixer. You guys don't want to miss that. That's happening out here in LA at the Hidden History Museum Saturday, March 25th, starting at 7 p.m. We're not going to be early like we did last time. We're doing it at 7 p.m. Um, come on through. No kids. No, 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 no. And, and this is another thing. Don't bring the kids to this. This is grown folks kicking it. All right. Don't bring the kids because folks was bringing it. We told people not to bring children because, you know, we, we kind of partying. But it was daytime, so we kind of gave them a pass because it was early. But this is some nighttime stuff we doing at the museum so don't bring the kids. This is because we're going to have comics and the comics are going to be raw. They're going to be, you know, they're going to be saying comic stuff. So leave the children at home. All right. Leave, leave the children at home. We, we're going to have other events where you can bring the kids. So for this event at the museum on the 25th, no children. Now, the, the expo we're having in Dallas, the FBA expo, you can bring the entire family. That's going to be a more family oriented event. Stuff like that. But the tickets will go on sale tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, for the Hidden History Museum March Museum Mixer. Um, my, my man, Dwan B, is going to be co-hosting. Um, we're bringing up a lot of good comics. And we're going to have good food, complimentary food, buffet-style food is going to be popping. Um, nice atmosphere. Um, the Hidden History Museum is the place to be. That is the kick it spot. That is the spot. You dig? Shout out to Afro Elite. Yeah, I can't wait for y'all to come on through to the expo, man. I know people go, we're going to, hey, we're going to turn people away at the door. I'm, I'm telling people, don't let no kids come through. We are not letting no kids come through for these nighttime events that we're doing. You're going to have to take the kid back to the babysitter. You dig? We cannot have that. I leave May Main at the crib. And another thing, guys, some of y'all, and some, when you come to the museum and we're having our nighttime events, if you come to my office area, y'all know where my office area is. Y'all just come in and say hi and bounce. Because last time, you know, the security, for some reason, they were, they were letting people through to come say hi, whatever. And then people got real comfortable. There was a lot of people just getting comfortable and just trying to kick it in my damn office. So no, 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 no. I don't want everybody kicking in. My my office is not the kicking spot. Let me say that. <laughs> if people come in and just kind of post up, yeah, okay. My, listen, if y'all come to the museum, my office is not the kicking spot. Yeah. 
My office is not the kicking spot. Say hi and then take your ass back into the main room. Because, yeah, people would come in my office. My The security was like, hey, somebody wanted to say something. And, oh, all right, let them in. Hey, Tariq, how you doing? They taking their coat off. Hey, listen here. I got some ideas for hitting color seven. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Y'all got to go back out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Afro, you saw what it was, Afro. Yeah, people trying to get into my office. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Much love. You can say hi. I don't mind people coming in and say, hey, man, I want to say hi, but then you got to go back. You got to go back into the main room. You dig? You got to go back into the main room. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. People just come in and just post up. People just come in and take their coat off and just sit up and, you know, eating chicken wings. And they're like, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. The other room, you know, just hiding by. Yeah, like, ooh, it's, it's popping in here. <laughs> yeah. Go back in the other room. If I let you in, if the security lets you in to say hi, I'm cordial, but take your ass back. All right. Don't don't come kicking it because, you know, I'm, I'm talking to the staff. We're handling business backstage. I'll go back now. In, in my office is business. We, you know, it's not it's business. Yeah, it is business. You know. <laughs> oh, let, let me get Afro Elite in. Hold on. Let me get my brother Afro Elite. He wants to pop in real quick. Hold on. Let me get Afro Elite in real quick. Hold on one second. Let me pop him in real quick. Where we at? There he is. My brother, Afro Elite. What's up, fam? Tariq, how you doing, brother? I'm good, man. What's on your mind, sir? Uh, no, I was really just editing a YouTube video and I got to got your thing. But uh, I wanted to talk to you about the um, museum. Yes. It was a great time. I'm, I'm really looking forward to coming back out this time. Yes. I wanted to get on to tell you, to tell everybody that they definitely need to show up to that. If I'm what was crazy, what you just said about like, even when you would pop your head out, people would like surround the door yeah. by where your office was. And you, when you would pop your head out, everybody would like turn and try to rush the door. That was, that was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. And people were kind of finessing their way in there. And <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. I gotta you know, let my security know. Cause people were, like saying that they were my relatives. Cause I actually had relatives there and people come in. Well, I'm his baby mama. I'm like, whoa, that's not my, I don't know this. I don't know him like that. So yeah, but it's all love, but I, I just got to let folks know to kind of, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, personal boundaries, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You stepped, I felt like you stepped out enough. But you I did. That business. Yeah, 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 you know, but it was all love. But you know, the, man, are you coming to the, the, the event this month? Oh yeah. Okay, oh, good. Yeah, good. I'm, I'm, I'm already. I'm getting a totally different uh, hotel. It was a crazy experience last time. Okay. In a different hotel and everything, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be out there. Cool, cool, man. To the expo, I'm already. I'm uh, trying to get the family to come this time too. So. Oh, good, 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 good. Cool, man. Good looking out, bro. All right, bro. But man, uh, right. let, let let everybody know where they can find your channel, Afro Elite. Uh, well, my channel is just Afro Elite on YouTube. Okay, cool. It's yeah. Afro Elite on. Cool. On Instagram and then the Afro Elite on Twitter. My man. So it's pretty much Afro Elite on everything. Cool. My man. Thank you so much, brother. Yeah. So y'all follow my brother Afro mm -hmm. Elite. Good solid brother, man. Real, real good dude. Shout out to Brother Afro Elite. Shout out to our brother. Alright. But yeah, come on through. Yeah, come on through. The, the museum is popping. It's it's a popping museum. We made a museum pop off. Who does that? We made a museum the hot spot. We made a museum the hot spot, dude. We made a museum hot. You dig? We made a museum the spot to be in. People love the museum. People really, really enjoy themselves. You dig? People really, really enjoy themselves there, and you're going to keep enjoying yourself. You dig? But yeah, come on through, man. Y'all come on through to the Hidden History Museum, man. We we have a great event coming up, man. So you guys are going to really enjoy yourself and just have a real good time. Um, go to HiddenHistoryMuseum.com, HiddenHistoryMuseum.com, ladies and gentlemen. And again, the tickets for the um, March Museum Mixer go on sale tomorrow. 
they, they go on sale tomorrow. So you guys got to come on through, man. It's going to be popping. Yes, indeed. What's up, Brittany Vibes? I see you. You, you dig? Oh, yeah, Greta. It's the hidden set, the hidden kicking spot. Now, all day. All day. You dig? Oh, yeah. Tethers are very big mad at that because we're making it successful. These niggas, are, the Tethers are, are up in arms. What is this shit? <laughs> Why do you make a museum successful, nigga? Where are you getting all this money? <laughs> I hate this nigga. I hate him. You're xenophobic. They don't know what to say. They're just saying anything. <laughs> anyway, man, let me get out of here, yo. Um, Puppy Akuta and Lola Bube to the family. Go get the new movie, American Maroon. American-Maroon.com. Get the Blu-ray now. American-Maroon.com.